Man, you hit me! What was that for? I'll hit you again in a second. I'm into that. You're a lunatic, man! I don't want to have anything to do with you! It was obvious that there would be trouble. Let me pass! Where e Leave the camp through the south exit. The south exit is the exact. Show. I got. I was in the sect camp and met Melvin. And what did he say? Apparently he likes it more than getting harassed by the guards. Hey man, he has all the fun for himself. I have to go there, but I'll never make it out of the camp. Really? Why not? The guards have found out that I want to leave. I guess I talk too much. I need at least 100 ore to bribe the guards. What if I gave you the 100 ore for the guards? You'd do that? Why? Well, let's say you aren't the only one who'd prefer you to hang around in the sect camp. You mean you want to come with me? I will go with you to the sect camp. Great, man. I'm ready. We can start as soon as you want. But don't forget, we need 100 ore for the guards. Clever. Hang on. Let an actual Russian that if you think. Clever. There must be something about that. Let's go to the new. Okay, follow me.
Well, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. What the hell are you doing here? Ah, a fight! <laughs> Try that Man, again, and you'll you regret sure it! Him. Thanks for the ore! I'll drink to you! Stop that sorcery! Thank you. 
that one. It was obvious there would be... Maybe. Maybe. Hi, I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, Spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclonies, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards, but the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here, and you should try the same. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? Good question. I'll think about it. Not go rushing into anything. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty, one of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. 
I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? He asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work, that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice fields. These days, he just hangs out at the warehouse stretching his stomach, the fat pig. Hey, just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the Rice Lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. From now on you- Oh, have you got- I think I'll have to rub my- Easy. Everything's all right. Nice fight. Never do that again. I'd rather kill you, but the ore is not bad either. You looking for trouble with... You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. I've been thinking. And? Have you thought of anything better? No. I thought so. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert.
Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some... <sighs> Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. Lefty said. Thanks, boy. Lefty said. Thanks, man. Lefty. Thanks, boy. Lefty. <sighs> Left. Thanks, man. Thanks, boy. Hey, you! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now.
Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We, we are the mercenaries of the Water Mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it, and don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great man. He's the one who holds this damn camp together. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. They said we shouldn't worry. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. Where's the ore mound? You want to see a real mound of ore, do you? There's a hole in the middle of the cave. They shove it all in there. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. What about the rest of the people? All crooks. They don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. Watch your back. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. And where do you want to go? Why, in there? Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. How about some ore as an admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? What do you say to 50 ore? Where? I can't see 50 ore. How about some ore as an admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? I have ten ore. Here. Ten ore? For that, I'll allow you to try again. <laughs> 